Hello students, this is teacher Brenda. Welcome to my class, Mathematics Year 6, Numbers and Operations. Our quest today, part 5, is to learn how to convert decimals of a million to a whole number. So, let's move to our slides. Now, before we learn to convert decimals of a million, we must first understand what is it exactly when we speak about decimal of a million? Now, let's say I have a number, okay? And my number is 2.3 million, okay? How much is this number or the value of this number actually? So, this is where you have to understand the place value of the decimal millions. Before we do that, I would like to alert your attention, okay, bring to your attention that decimal million, when we talk about decimal million, it's not the same as your normal decimal number. Okay, let's say I have a normal decimal number, for example, 2.3. You have learned in standard four or five previously, you have learned about decimals and you know where they exist in the place value chart. Now look at this place value chart. It starts with millions on the furthest left, one millions house, then hundred thousand, ten thousands, one thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. This is the smallest that you've known. But remember, it can go even smaller by entering the decimal system. So what is the tens house? That means every number here is divided into 10 parts further. So your 2.3, your normal 2.3 would be written here, 2.3, where two is in the ones house, three is in the tens house. Okay, maybe you can even have the hundreds house, 2.35. 2 ringgit 35 cents, 22 ringgit 35 cents. So this is the normal standard decimal. However, this is not the same as the millions decimals that we have. Now, the decimal million is purposely a separation with the, from the millions house. You see the millions house here and the thousands house. We want to just separate it by putting a dot here. So when I put here, say seven, and I put here three, now I read this number as 7.3 million. So your 2.3 million would be written here, 2.3 million. It's not the same as a normal decimal number. How do we differentiate by the word million? The word million will tell you that the decimal is a separation between the millions house and the thousands house. With this understanding, clearing all the drawings, let's look at how we can convert a decimal number to a whole number and vice versa. Okay, so let's start with the whole number first. Let's say I have 1,500,000. Okay, and I'm going to write it uh, in the place value chart. So 1,500,000. Okay, this is my whole number. I have a house for sale for 1,500,000. Who wants to buy? Now, when I want to advertise... I don't want to say 1,500,000. It's just so long. And math is supposed to make your life easier, simpler. So we cut, 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 cut all these zeros at the back. Make life easy. Put a decimal here and just say 1.5 million. You see that? Sounds very professional as well. See? So if there are zeros at the back, that has like, okay, no values. It has values, but there's no digits there. Okay, let me give you another example. Let's say now I have 
Clear again, huh? Zero, zero, zero. So, assuming I'm erasing this, okay? So, now my number here is 2 million, okay, 2 million, 307,000. Assuming I have a house for sale again, 2 million and 307,000. Look, there is a zero right in the middle of the 10,000's house, but there is a seven in the 1,000's house. What is... If I'm going to write this whole number into a decimal million, how am I going to do it? Can I put here a dot and then just say 2.3 million? No. What happens to my 7? So you must say it as 2.307 up to a digit that you have. Okay. But if there is also a number here, then there is no point using a decimal. The decimal million is made, is used for big numbers that have lots of zeros at the back. So you don't want to, in order to avoid writing all these zeros, we make it shorter by putting in a decimal here between the millions house and the thousands house. So just now I showed you how a normal number can become a decimal number. Now we clear the drawing and let's see if I had a decimal number like 1.7 million. See, 1.7 million is different than 1.7, just 1.7. Just 1.7 would be written here. But 1.7 million, that would be written here in the millions house. 1.7 Okay, I'm going to erase this one. And then, how do I change this decimal million to a whole number, to a complete number? You take away the decimal point. Now, when you take away the decimal point, you write the 7, you write the 1 and the 7, and all the places until the house of the 1s are filled up with zeros. Okay? So, this is now 1,700,000. And that's how you read by three digits 1,700,000. Mention the word thousand and done. So let's move, let's clear this and move on to some examples. Here we have 7.8 million. Now there is another shortcut method. So once you know, how the place value, What where is this number on the place value, you can use a shortcut method. The shortcut method is many a times they would just tell you multiply the million, the decimal million by one million. Okay, now you have learned that when you multiply numbers, the decimal point moves to the right. Okay, if the, according to the number of zeros that's in the uh, number here there are six zeros here so your decimal point will move six digits to the right i would say this is a memory way a, a parrot way of doing things oh if you want to just change this can okay, just multiply it's nothing wrong with it but you should only use this method after you know and you understand the place value chart okay so how would i um, just uh, convert this into a normal number quick and fast. So 7.8. So you move your decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And here it stands. And whatever in between takes 0. Okay, so all the houses here are 0. But if you just understood that the decimal point is a separation between the millions house and the hundred thousands house you already know after the hundred thousand there's going to be another five more houses coming out so seven million then i'll just write eight hundred remember there are three one stands hundred the pattern and then one stands hundreds so if you can remember that then you don't need all these moving decimal method 0 0.15, obviously this is less than 1. So this is the millions house. This is the dot between the millions and the hundred thousands house. So our number here 
one five. Remember, in the thousand sounds, there's three digits. So hundred thousand, tens thousands, one thousands, and the rest it's all zero hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, one million. Three digits, three digits. So if you see two point two five, it means two five, and put the third digit zero, and the rest of it will be zero. The hundred thousand, ten thousand, one thousand, hundreds, tens, and ones. So if you understand your place value chart, then the moving the decimal becomes, you know, it's just a parrot way of learning. Nothing wrong. Four, five, six. So move it here and put in. Choose whichever method that's comfortable and easy for you to work with. So this one, one, remember that zero still has a value. That means the hundred thousands place value, the digit there is zero. And then the four in the ten thousands and then the rest is zero. So this number is 1.4 million as a decimal million, but it's 1,040,000 as a whole number. 3.508 million. 3,508,000 as a whole number. 1,250,000. 150,000. Okay, because it's less than 1 million. That's why you see a zero in the millions place value. Hope this was clear enough and you understood, you know, how to convert decimal millions to a whole number and vice versa. Vice versa means the reverse. Thank you, everyone.